Don't ever build with a man. Don't ever bank on a man's potential. Mm. But I think I should have told y'all is how to pick the right man. How to pick the man that you can do something like that with. A lot of y'all are walking around with too much fear in your heart. You think that every man that you build with gonna leave you. I saw this post recently and I went ahead and just reposted it. Like if I made poor choices and a man was a post, this would be it. The original post said, this is your boyfriend's type when the money starts coming in. But for now, he will stick to you because you are building with him. And someone reposted it and she said, let's talk about it because where's the lie? This is why I'm big on number one, dress however you want for yourself. Number two, never build up a man as ultimately the next B will be the one to enjoy all your labor. And number three, never put his dreams ahead of yours. Just say that these are the type of men that you are attracted to. The ones with the issues, the ones with the drama. They're good men and they're bad men. I tell y'all this all the time. There's dusties out there and there's exceptional men. If you choose a man with a decent character to build with, you don't have to worry about disloyalty. I think a lot of times we've spent too much time talking about the bad men instead of teaching women how to stay away from them. So that's where the shift in my content happened. I was so sick of seeing podcasts and people saying the same stuff over and over again. Choosing a man who is disloyal or who has been misusing you since day one makes him choose another woman after he builds with you. The never put his dreams ahead of yours statement is sus to me because most women who post stuff like that are the main ones whose dreams is to misuse a wealthy man for his money. Well, you aren't a man's preference or you suddenly become his non-preference. During a relationship, please don't get bitter. People grow and people change their minds. But put more pride in your physical appearance. Dressing like a turbo thought isn't going to attract a decent man. And dressing modestly isn't going to stop a man who likes violating women from violating women. But when you dress for elegance and sophistication, you're doing that for you. Dressing half naked is so you can get the attention of men. So when women say, oh, I'm dressing like that for myself, sweetheart, you can get in the mirror and be naked. You could dress like a thought in your bedroom. Why do you go outside if it's for you? Why does everybody need to see it if it's just for you? Because the truth is, it's not. You need that validation and acceptance from other people, especially men, in order for you to feel comfortable with yourself. That right there is the thing that women don't want to admit. No matter how much bull you sprinkle on top, it will always be the truth. Instead of analyzing a man's physical appearance or how much money he makes or what kind of woman he's actually attracted to swimming in the shallow end of the pool, you should simply try to figure out who these men are character wise. What does he stand for? What is his purpose? Does he have faith in a higher power? What is he working on? What are his hobbies? Women don't focus on those things and they wonder why they keep making poor choices in men. You can't be out here expecting for a man to build you up but you wouldn't give a man that same thing in return. You just have to know what kind of man you can actually do something like that with. A lot of men look like they have potential, but you have to know the difference between men who are actually going to work towards being the kind of man they are going to be and a man who is just going to talk and not walk the walk.